Today on MTG Unpacked, the Commander Legends 1 vs 2 pack battle continues. So we've got some draft packs from the middle of each box. And we're going to see today which set gets us the craziest pulls. So leave a note in the comments your prediction. Will it be Commander Legends the original or Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate? Alright, so we're going to skip over the commons, not a bunch of value there. And the uncommons, we have Fathom Fleet, Swordjack, Scholar of the Ages, Volcanic Torrent, and Elvish Dreadlord. That is not going to cut it, I'm afraid. Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist, Yorlock of Scorch Thrash, Foil, Azure Fleet Admiral, and a Copy Token. Okay, so a bit uninspiring there from Commander Legends. Let's get on to the next pack. Commander Legends 2. And see if we can do even better. Alright, so the uncommons here. We have Mindstone. Contraband Livestock. Safana Calumport Cutthroat. Livan Cultist of Tiamat. Candlekeep Sage. And Basilisk Collar. Actually, that is not too bad. About a buck there. Foil Marble Diamond. And Construct Token. Commander Legends. You can do better. I am convinced of this. Where are those crazy pulls? For that matter, where's the Mana Drain? We'd like to see one of those sooner rather than later. Okay. Uncommons. We have Return to Dust, Reclamation Sage, Mask of Memory, and Sakashima's Protégé. That is the low-end Sakashima. Itch Tech, Itch Salvage Splicer, Breaches, Brazen Plunderer, Goblin Pirate, Foil, Command Tower, and a Rock. Yeah, that's like a metaphor for the Commander Legends pools, I think. Just a pile of rocks. On to the next packet here. So let's see. Over two uncommons. We have Overwhelming Encounter, Skullwinder, Ganax, Astral Hunter, Seravok, Deathbringer, Inspiring Leader, and Robe of the Arch Magi. Along with a Foil Avenging Hunter, and the initiative. Alright, so it's interesting I think how there's uh, a bunch more uncommons in those these days. They've mixed things up a little bit, but you usually still only get the one rare. Okay, and on to Commander Legends OG. We have Vow of Torment, Furnace Celebration, Guilt Leaf Winnower. And Nevenerals Disc, along with Rebecca, Architect of Ascension, Hamza, Guardian of Arishan, Foil, Golem, Artisan, <laughs> and another rock. Okay, Commander Legends 2, you can beat those rocks, surely. And stay tuned, later in the video we will have the tally so far for each set. So adding up the pulls in the previous video, along with the pulls in this one. I think you'll be surprised. We have Bag of Holding, Amethyst Dragon, Cone of Cold, and a Mythic. Yes, Borderless, Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes. So I collect Planeswalkers, so this will be a fine addition to the collection. Flaming Fist, and another Mythic. Blood Money, excellent. Thrakus the Butcher, Foil. And the initiative, and I'm giving credit to the wrong set. Those should be over here. And I think, yeah, back to Commander Legends. So that was actually a pretty tasty pack. I don't think they're crazy valuable mythics, but still better than what Commander Legends has been dishing out. We've got Warden of Evos Isle, Hero's Blade. Ordeal of Nylea, and a Mythic, Reshape the Earth. Alright, Kedis Emberclaw, Familiar, Averna the Chaos Bloom, Foil Dragon Mantle, and a Dragon Token. Okay, things are starting to heat up now. 
the mythic train of value has begun people let's hope it continues okay did I skip one extra nope we have Bane's contingency beckoning willow wisp underseller sweep tavern brawler and Gale Waterdeep Prodigy along with a Displacer Kitten yes that is the value we're looking for I think that one needs a sleeve and a foil dread linorm and treasure token grabbing the sleeves I should probably have sleeved up those other mythics but oh well time is a wasting onto Commander Legends that is gonna be a tough act to follow I think Alright, we have Vow of Duty, Ingenuity Engine, Slaughter the Strong, and Immaculate Magistrate. Oh dear. Galanra Cooler of Wirewood, Dargo the Shipwrecker, Foil Horizon Stone, and an Elf Warrior. And is it just me, uh, or are the foils in Commander Legends a little bit flatter these days? They used to be really terrible. Maybe it's just the humidity, because we are in like the middle of summer here in the US, so that could have something to do with it. Okay, Commander Legends 2, we have Explore the Underdark, Mystery Key, Ambitions Cost, Renari Merchant of Marvels, Acolyte of Bahamut, and another Mythic Vexing Puzzle Box, along with a Foil Navigation Orb and Copy Token. Yes, tons of mythics this episode. Pretty happy about that. And of course, the Displacer Kitten. Not a mythic, but still an awesome pull. Next up, we have Daring Saboteur. First Response, Guildless Commons, and Armored Sky Hunter. I think that's an okay pull, but I think we can do better. Private of the Steel Legion. Livio Oathsworn Sentinel Foil Seraph of Dawn Prismatic Piper and the Monarch All right getting towards the end here Don't tell me things are slowing down now. We want to keep the craziness going at a high clip Next packet we have Emerald Dragon Gith Zeril Monk Rasad in Bashir, Alora, Merry Thief, Street Urchin, and Traverse the Outlands is rare foil. Ar Arakukra Sneak, that's a bit of a tricky one, and the Initiative. Okay, Commander Legends, you're letting the team down. I don't know, this set might be losing overall actually. I haven't added up the numbers, but in editing, I think that's what I'm going to find. So let's turn things around with something crazy. We have Null Caller, Dreamstone Hedron, Feast of Succession, <laughs> Necrotic Hex, that's not going to do it. Armex Filigree, Thrasher, Malcolm, Keen Eyed Navigator, Foil Keleth, Sunmane Familiar, and Treasure Token. Just two more packs of Commander Legends 2 and anyone else excited about Double Masters coming up next week. So Double Masters 2022, I can't wait. I wonder if they'll do like an annual thing for reprints. Curious about that. Alright, we have Arcane Encyclopedia, Arcane Signet, Fireball, Scion of Halaster. And Duke Older Raven Guard is the rare, and another one here Under Mountain Adventurer, Foil Ghost Lantern, and a Soldier. Okay, Commander Legends, last chance to redeem yourself. Well, actually, there is another installment. We're going to do the final row in the boxes, so stay tuned for that. But I think I think it would be nice to go out with a bang here for Commander Legends. We have Explosion of Riches, Siren Storm Tamer, Arcane Signet again, and Ember Wild Captain, oh dear. Nadir, Agent of the Duskanel, Jared Carthalian, True Air, Foil, Eye Blight, Massacre, Prismatic Piper, and Treasure Token. Last pack here, Commander Legends 2. 
Let's blow it out of the water and then we'll pop up a tally to see how these sets are doing so far. And like I said, one more installment after this, so stay tuned for that. We've got Swashbuckler Extraordinaire, Campfire, Ellen Harbury's Busybody, that's a fun one, Erinus Gloomstalker, Agent of the Shadow Thieves, and Elder Brain. It's a horror, along with a foil Merkal's Edict and Copy Token. So that wraps it up. Here's the tally. I'm pretty sure Commander Legends 2 is winning, but I could be mistaken. And if you want to check out the previous installment, link in the corner to that one. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.